welcome to the start of Buckethead. This is going to be a U.S. flag memorial flag holder and a combination of a uh, cremation urn holder in the base. The base and the flag holder are going to be two separate items. But I wanted to work and get these angles down right here. Those are 22 and a half degree angles. These are 45s. I wasn't worried about cutting those, but these were proving to be tough. So I decided rather than messing up the, the cherry that I'm going to make this out of, I'd get some pine and play with it. And I got to admit, this is the third board I bought to do it, but I finally got it figured out. And it's so simple. It's one of those, duh, why didn't I think of that moments, you know? But anyway, um, so as you can see, um, I've got real nice 45 degree corners here. I mean, pardon the finger. That's uh, what happens when you hit the wrong nail with a hammer. Um, I got a good 22 and a half degree here, 22 and a half degree here, and a 45 degree here. So it works out perfectly because this gives us a 90 degree inside here. 45 degree corners here and here, which is what we need. And that gives us the perfect dimensions for the, the uh, flag holder. Now, of course, I still have to make the trim to go around the front and cut the slots in the back for the, uh, the backboard and everything. But um, like I said, this is just a practice piece for me to figure out how I wanted to be able to, to cut those. So what I run into was uh, cutting the 45s on my compound miter saw was no problem but cutting the 22 and a half degree on these long curves across the width of the board was an issue. I tried it on my table saw. It was not a safe operation for me to do. And there was a jig that I could buy, but that jig was gonna cost me like $150 plus tax. And I just said, there's gotta be a better way. So what else do you do? You go to YouTube and you put in what you're looking for and the first video that came up was so simple I, I just couldn't believe it was true and really all it was let me put this down was you lay a board in this case i used a scrap two by four and i clamped it in position and you cut a 45 degree angle here and a 45 degree angle here and then this is zero degree and so this is 45 this is 45 so if i wanted a steeper angle than 45 i just had to move my table in the direction that i needed and count the angles marks and add them to 45 and then i could cut whatever i needed to on that it's just so simple but in this situation since this is at zero and i needed the 22 and a half in the long run all i had to do was move my table saw let me loosen it up was move my table saw to the 22 and a half degree mark right there, put the board in and slice it down and it worked. I couldn't believe it. It was just one of those aha moments. Like, why didn't I think of that? And you know, and it's, um, I'm just tickled to death that it worked out for me. So <laughs> anyway, uh, so the, the first video is experimentation making sure that everything's going to work right so now that i've got it all figured out and i've got these set up exactly how i want i'm not taking them out i'm going to leave them exactly where they're at and when i come back tomorrow then i will start cutting on the cherry and get the frame cut out and then uh, i've got the extra cherry left over that i'll be cutting to make the trim boards that go around it so this is all going to be custom built uh, all the way around all the, the molding and everything I'm going to build. I'm not buying anything. I'm going to make it all so uh, We got it figured out and this is uh, this is a two-day trial and error and Yes, you can rest assured there were some shucky darns thrown out during the day, but I could not believe how simple it was to do that and Good old YouTube. So anyway, when we come back in video number two we'll be actually starting on the actual cutting of the cherry so we'll get after it then so i'll see you in the next one thanks a lot